Hi, this is Sarah Reese and it is October 15th. Today, I'm gonna have a little bit of conversation about hot dish. Definitely not to be confused with casserole. We are in Northwest Minnesota after all, so we definitely need to talk hot dish. So what does hot dish have to do with COVID, you might ask? Well, one of the really important things about hot dish, if you know anything about hot dish making in my world, that means you layer things. You put things in a pan, you put it in the oven, and voila, it's a beautiful hot dish. So in the world of COVID, when we work with schools, we are working on the layering approach. So when we layer in our hot dish, just like in schools, that first layer of our hot dish, or maybe that top layer, we are trying to prevent COVID from even entering our schools. And so there is a layering of strategies or things that the school is doing to help prevent COVID from entering their building. The second layer of our hot dish is that if we do have a case in the school, we want to quickly identify who was in or around that person. And so we can prevent the spread of further cases in our school. That third layer is our ability to prevent further outbreaks. So if we do have kids or, or faculty or staff in our buildings that are uh, have a lab confirmed case of COVID, we want to prevent an outbreak in that school building or in our school district. So as you can see, it's really important, all of the things that the schools have been mindful about during this important back to school time. So I'm gonna just take a moment to talk about these pieces right here, these second and third layers of our hot dish. So one of the frequent questions that I get is, how do we identify close contacts in a school? So if someone is identified with a lab confirmed case of COVID, whether that be a student or a staff member, what do we do next? How do we determine who are the close contacts of that person? And so I wanna just take a moment to talk about that. So the most important thing is that N equals one. So every situation is different and we take in each situation and we look at the day of, of the person who would have been in school, uh, in that in-school environment during their infectious period and we assess how they spent their day. So let's take a look at that. So first we say, how did they get to school? Did they come on a bus? Did they walk? Did they get a ride with their parents? How did they arrive? Second, we said, how did they spend their day? What does the environment of their classroom look like? It is a, a large room, a small room. Are their desks close together or are they at tables? Are they in an in-person environment or are they in a hybrid environment? So there's less students in the school and there's more space. Next, we look at their lunch time. Who did they sit by? Everybody has their favorite friends or their assigned seating spot, or maybe they're eating lunch in their classroom. So we look at times when they were moving about the building and going to other things like lunch, music, gym, and even recess. And then last but not least, we also look about when they went home. How did they get there? Did they go home? Did they have a sport after school? Did they go to a childcare environment? Did grandma pick them up? Or did they in fact go home? And how did they get there? Did they ride the bus? Did they walk? Or did someone pick them up? So we look at the complete picture of the person's day. And within that period, we assess who that person who was infectious who did they spend time with during that day? And how much time did they spend? Was it all at one time? Was it cumulative time? Many times over the course of the day, what did their day look like? And from there, Polk County Public Health works alongside of the school nurse and school administration, depending on the COVID team for that school, to determine who is appropriate to be identified as close contacts. And then there's a formal notification process for close contacts to be notified and provided additional information. Thank you and have a great day.